All right, people, get your laptops out. We are going to get the scoop on promotional codes. You know what I'm talking about. When you're online shopping and you check out, there's usually a box that asks for any promotional codes that you might have. You can get anything from free shipping to sometimes 20% off to maybe a free tote bag. Well, Alexis Caldwell says you should never, ever, ever leave that box blank. Alexis, good morning to you. Welcome to Great Day St. Louis. Thanks for having me. Native of California, where they're dealing with some wildfire issues right now. Yeah. But uh, a little quieter Hopefully around Hopefully getting here. underway. So here's the deal. I've, I, and we talked about this a little bit before the show. I see that box every time. And I feel like an idiot every time because I never put anything in the box because I don't have the code. So where do you go? Un unless you hear it on a promotion or something, where do you go to get these codes? Really, I mean, there are special sites too that collect all of these codes. Um, they get them directly from the advertisers, mm -hmm. from the different stores um, that you shop at online, and collect them all in one place on one website. Um, my favorite is promotionalcodes.com, um, codes from over 6,000 different online stores. So you can pretty much find what you're looking I for. I guess so, <laughs> promotionalcodes.com. Yes. The way you describe it all makes it sound very legal and above board. Oh, I no, guess it totally. is, right? Because they're pulling the stuff from advertisers, which is how these people want to get the codes out in the first place. Yeah, and a lot of the codes are actually created specifically for promotionalcodes.com, right. so they're the only ah. site that has them from the actual stores that you're shopping at. Now, just so it's totally legit. I get it. I got it. Thank you for reassuring us because yes. I'm a little weirded out by that. But the, the, the bottom line is sometimes just because you get a code doesn't mean you're scot-free. It doesn't mean you're going to get a free product. doesn't mean you're going to get a huge discount. In fact, sometimes there's limitations and expirations on these codes you have to watch out for too, right? Definitely. Always make sure that you read the fine print on the code. Um, check the expiration date. Check the minimum purchase order. Sometimes you do have to spend $50 to get your $10 off. Um, but in a lot of cases, it's better because you'll get a better deal stocking up. Um, the same way you go to big like Costco's or right. Sam's, Sam's Clubs, Club. the more yeah. you buy, the better deal. It's like that, but the online version. Are, is there ever an instant, instance where you can actually use more than one code on a particular purchase? Yes, definitely. Really? One of the top tips for using online coupons is to stack them. Um, not every store allows it, but it's becoming more and more common for stores to accept free shipping codes in addition to you know your 20% off, your 30% nice. off. And they also offer codes that are actually both the discount plus free shipping. So you only Whoa. have to enter one thing and you get two. <laughs> That's very cool. And maybe yes. there's something else you can stack on top of that. Too. Yeah, definitely. Let's say you're checking your email one day, Hotmail, Gmail, whatever, and you get this email that says, hey, come visit our website. We'll give you some free codes, but there's a membership fee or some kind of upfront mm. fee. What do you think about that? Definitely do not do it. Mm. Uh, you should never have to pay for coupons. Uh, like I said, they're provided by the stores um, as really a free service um, right. for websites like promotionalcodes.com to offer to shoppers. So you should never have to pay for coupons. Don't do it. Um, and then also, don't worry about um, entering any personal information. Uh, you really shouldn't have to give up your information in order to access coupons. Um, you can use all the coupons on promotionalcodes.com without even giving your email address. It's, it's pretty easy. You beat me yeah. to the next question. So no personal info required for this no. kind of stuff. That would be a red flag. Definitely. I okay. mean, there, there is an option to sign up for you know, a weekly newsletter, but mm -hmm. that's completely optional. And you can just you know, do that if you want, yeah, right. or just use the coupons. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of do's and don'ts in the promo code, but just online shopping in general. We're just about out of time, so we'll put them on our website. Great. But I wanted to get one to one really quickly, which seems like a no-brainer, but I'm still not sure people get it. Never buy something in a store without shopping around online first, yes? Absolutely. Shopping online is often so much more affordable because this online stores don't incur some of the same overhead costs as shopping in the store. Um, so really, you know, check out what you're looking at in the store and then go home, search online, do a little Google search, come to promotionalcodes.com, and you can often right. find much better deals. And it's not just the cost you're comparing, but online you can read reviews and all kinds of good stuff. So thank you very much, Alexis. We appreciate that. Promotionalcodes.com? Yes. Promotionalcodes.com. I'm there later today. Have you decided to skip your daily latte or maybe your brown bag in it just to save a few bucks? When times are tough, we all give up the things that seem like frivolous or, or um, not important. Ah, but not so fast. There are a few things that women will not give up, according to a new survey. What luxury will you never skimp on? And five dollars, I felt like it was a good deal because it was probably at least twenty to begin with. Okay, now I may not be the best mathematician, but that's like 75% off, no coupons needed. How to shop like a pro at garage sales, coming up next.